Good morning, children. Let's begin with the new lesson, lesson 2.5. Let's march by Kailash Satyarthi. Children, you all might have seen the videos and have got an idea what the lesson is all about. So this lesson is the speech or we can say an address of Kailash Satyarthi, which he delivered at the Nobel Peace Prize ceremony which was held at Oslo, Norway in 2014. It's a matter of pride for every Indian that Kailash Satyarthi was bestowed with this prestigious honor of Nobel Peace Prize. So children, you can see in the image Kailash Satyarthi holding the Nobel Peace Prize. He is holding the diploma which he received along with the medal which he received this medal is made of 18 karat green gold plated with a 24 karat gold coating. Children, along with this, he also received the prize money of 1 million US dollars. So children, let's begin with the lesson. Let's understand what message Kailash Satyarthi is giving us through the speech. So let's and let's go to the lesson. Let's march by Kailash Satyarthi. Let's begin with the introduction. Kailash Satyarthi, 1954, he was born in 1954, is an Indian children's rights and education advocate and an activist against child labor. So Kailash Satyarthi is working for the rights of Indian children. Whatever right, he feels that whatever rights children have, they should be bestowed with that right. Along with it, he is an education advocate. Advocate means supports. He is a firm believer that every child should be educated. He believes that every child has the right to education. And he is also an activist. Activist is a person who protests against anything wrong in the society, anything which happens wrong in the society. And he is protesting against child labor. He feels that children have the right to education. They should not be subjected to any kind of work and therefore he is fighting against child labor in India. He founded the Bachpan Bachao Andolan in 1980. We have over here given the information about Bachpan Bachao Andolan and you also might have seen a video about Bachpan Bachao Andolan. It is a India based movement which campaigns for the rights of children. So he is the founder of Bachpan Bachao Andolan and he has founded it um, in 1980 and has acted upon, acted to protect the rights of more than 83,000 children across 144 countries. So he has not limited himself only to India, but he has, um, help children around 83,000 children across uh, 144 countries. So he has extended his help to children of other countries also. He is honored with many awards including Nobel Peace Prize of 2014. He had addressed this speech on the eve of Nobel Prize distribution ceremony. So as I told you that this lesson, it is a speech. The text type is a speech. So this was addressed, the speech was given by him on the eve of Nobel Peace, uh, Nobel Peace Prize distribution ceremony. Let's go to the lesson now and let's begin with the explanation. Part one. So the speech is divided into three parts and today we are going to understand part one. 
as all speeches begin with salutation, even this speech begins with salutation. My dear children of the world, Kailash Satyarthi begins his address by addressing the children of the world. Your Majesties, that is ruling king and queen, associates, your royal highnesses, that is members of royal family, excellencies, that is dignitaries, governor, ambassador, or we can say the representatives from the government, distinguished members of the Norwegian Nobel Committee, dear brother Tom Harkin, brothers and sisters, and my dear daughter Malala. And as you all know that Kailash Satyarthi was awarded Nobel Peace Prize along with Malala Yousafzai. So he is addressing Malala Yousafzai as his daughter. From this podium of peace and humanity, I am deeply honored to recite a mantra from the ancient texts of wisdom Vedas. He calls this as a podium of peace and humanity from where he was speaking. Here podium means a platform, the stage which from where he was speaking. He calls that stage, that podium as a podium of peace. Why he calls it as the platform of peace? The reason is that Nobel Peace Prize was being awarded there. Along with it, people who had contributed for world peace were being awarded and hence he calls it as the platform, as a stage, as a podium of peace. Along with it, he also calls it as a podium of humanity because the people who had contributed to humanity, the people who had done humanitarian work were being awarded and hence he calls it as a platform of peace and humanity. And he begins his speech by reciting a mantra from the ancient texts of wisdom that is Vedas. This mantra carries a prayer and aspiration and a resolve that has the potential to liberate humanity from all man-made crises. Now, why he chose this mantra? Because he says that this mantra is a prayer. It is an aspiration, aspiration, it is an ardent wish, it is a desire. And it is also a resolve, it is a solution. And it has, and this mantra has a potential. Potential means it has a power to liberate humanity. Liberate means to free humanity, to free human beings, to free mankind from all man-made crisis. Now, all the, what do you mean by man-made crisis? All the social evils which exist in the society, they are man-made. They are created by human beings and hence they are called as man-made crisis. The best example given over here is child labor. Who has created it? It is created by human beings and therefore he says that this mantra which I am reciting is having the power that it can free humanity of this man-made crisis. Now, how can we bring about a change? How can we put an end to this man-made crisis. Let's go further and let's understand it.